I want you to think for a minute. Who are your friends? Why do you love your friends? What do your friends look like? Do they all look the same? Most likely, they are not all the same. You have different friends with different personalities, different appearances, with different things they offer, but that doesn't mean you love your friends any less because of these differences. That's because everyone is different, and that's a really good thing. Now, you may be curious, why are we talking about this? Today is World Down Syndrome Day. World Down Syndrome Day celebrates the differences between people. It is celebrated on the 21st day of March to honor and share our love for those living with Down Syndrome and to create awareness and acceptance for others. The date was chosen as the day to signify the uniqueness of the triplication of the 21st chromosome, which is what causes Down Syndrome to occur. Now you may be curious, what is Down Syndrome? Down Syndrome is the most commonly occurring chromosomal condition, occurring once in every 691 babies born. Down syndrome is caused by a person having three copies of chromosome 21 instead of two copies, and therefore they have an extra chromosome. It is random and occurs in people of all races and economic levels. This is something that makes someone with Down syndrome different. Just like how your friend might have different hair, skin, or eye color than you, these are all genetic differences that make us who we are. What is your favorite class at school? My favorite class is media. And what do you do in media? In media, I always example uh, media and music. All right, why do you like doing that? Well, I like to edit things and I like to watch or origins of YouTube videos. My favorite classes are A, B, and Drama because they are where I'm most likely to have fun. What's your favorite class? My favorite class is PE because I like being active. What is your favorite class and why? American Sign Language because it's a fun way to communicate. Yes. I love Spanish. What do you like about Spanish? Spanish is my favorite subject. Okay, what do you like to do after school? After school, I like to run with my friend Adam in the North Pole. Why do you like doing that? It means you have your health, stamina, muscles, and your overall um, human identity. And what is your favorite activity after school? Hang out with my friends. What is your favorite activity? Oh, this is easy. My favorite activity are surfing, baseball, and basketball. What is your favorite activity to do after school? My favorite activity after school is read. I like to read books and encyclopedias. And what is your favorite activity? My favorite activity is basketball because I'm a good shooter because I, I dribble the ball. All right. What do you like to do with friends? With friends, I love to party. I'm a party animal, of course, and I go to the front. I'm going to clubs, and I specifically love to eat, but I'm gluten <laughs> free, so I can't eat anything gluten. My favorite thing to do with friends is to hang out with them. I like when they say hi and do fist bumps and high fives. What are your favorite things to do with your friends? I like to do karaoke with my friends. What are your favorite things to do with friends? Hang out at my house and get coffees and go to the beach. And my friends, I hang out with them and, I, and we go to Starbucks. And I get a frappuccino. What do you like to do in your free time with your friends? I like to 
the bowling. I like to do fun things with my friends. And sometimes when my girlfriend's in town, and we make TikToks together. And I find that fun. What do you think people should know about Down syndrome? Down syndrome is a certain type of gift. They need to be respected and they need to show respect. I wish they knew that Down syndrome helps me to be a good friend most of the time that thing um, is no big deal. It just means sometimes I need to do things differently or work harder. You can do what everyone can do and I have a great life. People with Down syndrome are awesome just like everybody else. I do want people to know about Down syndrome. I want everyone to know that we are more alike than different. What do you think is the best way to include someone? Like, ask their interest. Then maybe, like, invite them to do something. What is the best way to include someone? The best way to include someone is to talk to them. What's a good way for people to know how to include you. Invitations are good. Okay, I'm gonna reach out to this person. And I think that's a good way of being included. As you can see, there really aren't that many differences between you and people with Down syndrome. We all know that there might be stereotypes about children with Down syndrome, but these are all just stereotypes and not what makes someone who they are. As a society, we need to work harder to understand, love, and appreciate others for who they are and not by assumptions we've heard about or thought about in the past. Next time you meet someone with Down syndrome, notice their gifts and how you are more alike than different. Everyone is different, but everyone is special and belongs. So let's celebrate what makes us special, unique, memorable, and different. Let's look at everyone's strengths, gifts, and skills we bring to the table. Let's all come together and celebrate World Down Syndrome Day.